time now. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. And I'm making coffee. This is the perfect way to make a decent coffee in your own home. Trust me on this one. Cafe Cappuccino. I know. What can you do? One of the greatest inventions ever made. I know. Whereas back in the day, people used to use their gas stove to warm up milk. Now you just chuck it in the microwave. Kind of reminds me of a song, but I'm not going to sing. So this is how you make the perfect coffee. Sugar with your coffee, man. One second. As you'll see, I like my coffee milky. And to top this perfect cappuccino off, you've got to have some chocolate powder. Perfect cappuccino. Done. Now you see it. Now you don't. <clears throat> the time there is half past seven in the morning. And today I am staying awake and I am going to laundrette and going shopping for my nan so there you go that is that my friends everybody loves Raymond definitely one of the best comedy shows I've ever seen I've only started watching it um, past couple of years but it is great if you're up this time in the morning um, it's always worth a watch, there's nothing else on telly anyway this time of the morning. I would put Everybody Loves Raymond up there with friends. Half past eight. Quarter past ten. Stand your wine, hey. Fox. Stand your wine, Fox. Hello, mate. Hey, mate. You on your camera, Dan. Hey. This is you on your Please. camera. I've already done an hour's worth. <laughs> Call me Zach. Should have rung me, bud. Yeah, man. <laughs> I thought about it, and I was, like I was just saying. They oh, are who doing black? Black. I need to bring my cheese slices for coffee. No, I've got loads of cheese slices. I'll eat some more. Wee! <laughs> so, what's your deal with this? Is this tapes, is it? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't afford the fucking digital one, that cost me like 150, 160. I dig out some of my mini DV tapes. Yeah, black. I've got. Most of that stuff, that I think. You might even have one of my old ones, but yeah, because I remember with either your old camera, which was mini DV, wasn't it? Hey, I've got a mini DV tape from way back in the day when I was at college. Yeah, I borrowed a mini DV camera, but I recorded it on long play. Oh, right, right. and so you got the two hours left. Yeah, but in college, yeah, you couldn't edit long play video. Oh, right. So I never really got to see what was on the tape. Yeah, yeah. I went to bed last night at about 12 o'clock, woke up about 5 and me and Bert had a cup of tea and that, um, went on the internet and checked YouTube and all that sort of stuff. Uh, 
uh, went back to sleep about seven, half seven, and I've been awake for two hours now. I woke up at ten o'clock and it's quarter past twelve now. It's all good, people, because we have the new Smackdown game. They're brand new. Only at yesterday, Smackdown vs. Raw 2010. But I had Burnout Paradise and The Simpsons game. It traded in Burnout for 7 quid, which I thought was quite good for that game. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, the Simpsons game was 4 quid, but because it never came with any instructions, I only got 2 quid for that. It's a bit crap, but you know. So it's 9 quid. I had a credit note. That's 13. I traded in UFC for 15. And Smackdown vs. Raw 2009. That, I've got 6 for that, which I thought was quite good. <clears throat> considering the new one was out today. I only got 50p for Smackdown 08, so I won't, I won't going to bother with that. There's no point. Or pound, I think it was actually. I won't going to bother getting rid of that. And the new Smackdown game is really, really good. Um, doing your attributes is really quite easy now, which is good. You know, you can do them in exhibition matches, which is probably one of the best things they could have done, definitely, because you've just got more freedom um, to fight who you want, how you want, what matches you want to do. It's just a lot better. And, and the graphics, um, even though they've probably concentrated on other things, more important things than graphics, the graphics are not as good as 09, I believe. The graphics are pretty good, I mean they're good enough um, because it's more about the wrestling and that's what they've concentrated more on this, on this Smackdown is the actual wrestling of the game and the sport itself, you know, and that's what it's all about, that's what it's all, it's always been about really, but it's, it's a good game, it was worth buying I would recommend any wrestling fan, even if you're not a wrestling fan you can still have fun playing these games, you can still have fun sitting there sort of creating yourselves and you know, like you don't even have to create yourself and just create some mad creature thing. It's, that's what you used to be able to do. I don't think you'll be able to do as much mad things as you as you used to. You used to be able to create some proper mad things on that game, but I don't think I don't know. You'll probably still be able to create something pretty mad, but not as mad as what you used to be able to do. Like some of our characters, for example, that we create on SmackDown. They're not going to look as good as what they should do. Um, yeah, there's going to be a couple that don't look as good as they could or as good as they should on that game. Turn it down a bit, I suppose. And as long as they're the same colour or whatever you do to create your guys that got their own unique thing about them.